Hi, it's Andrew again. I'm going to do my tutorial on how to uh, flash a, or build a custom sign engine mod ROM. Uh, I was having trouble with it and those troubles before. So I'm using a web to. I apologize ahead of time. So, um, for this. Uh, I would recommend using two little reference websites for this. You'll obviously probably want to use the CyanogenMod website since there is a wiki on how to do it there. So I'll load up the CyanogenMod. So just CyanogenMod. Oh, oops. Just could have just gone to the wiki. And there's a little link at the bottom here that says building from source code. Um, also, we're going to load up the Android source website. The website is source.android.com. And you'll need little tidbits if you're just going to be copying and paste from here as well. Um, you're going to want to go to initializing the build environment here. So you, you can read it over um, since basically the CyanogenMod version of building from source is kind of like a modified version of this and you will need new to, uh, you'll need parts of this in order to be able to fully do this um, everything is going to be done pretty much from the terminal window that's this little thing and I'll have that over here so for this example, I'm going to use the, the emulator. So we're going to here, we got the Android SDK emulator. Uh, we'll pick the Linux. Oh, yeah, do this in Linux. The um, OSX one is a lot longer and harder to do. And as you can tell from me, I'm having troubles, but uh, that's besides the point. All right, so first thing it tells you to do, well, first you need the SDK, but I hope you've already done that if you watched my other videos. If not, go back and watch them. So install the SDK. It's not hard. Uh, it's just, it's necessary. A lot of the building tools are in there. Uh, next thing you're going to need to do is build the, pa um, to install the packages. This isn't straightforward, but you must know if you have a 32 or 64 bit system. It, You'll need if you have a 64-bit system, you'll need to install these as well. Now, a neat little thing with um, Ubuntu is if you don't know how to already install these by just the code that they've given you, um, you can just load up the Ubuntu Software Center, which is this thing. It's new, kind of in this version. There's a like an updated version, and you can actually type in each individual package. So wherever there's a space, there's a new that's its own package. So git core is its own package. You could just type in git core and you'll see there's a package for it. I already have them installed, but um, the way to install these, there is an error, well not really an error, but they used to work and they don't work anymore. Um, Sun Java 6 JDK uh, no longer works and also sketch tools, it's just sketch tool. So if you want to install all of these, um, just leave those two out for now. Um, but first, you will need to install the JDK um, or a version of it. And in order to get that, you you you'll need to go back to the source Android website and installing the JDK. You'll need this. The second one, the sudo apt repository, apt repository, and then, um, this one's going to fail. The second one, the dev source, uh, don't worry about it. It actually works fine without it. But so install this and update the, the app get and then um, then install the Sun Java 6 JDK that way. You'll be able to, it'll take you to kind of, you'll have to agree. So hit yes. And then it'll take you to like a different interface, kind of sort of really old MS, uh, DOS install screen type thing. Uh, just go through that. Once you have the, all the that installed, you can go back and then install the rest of these tools here. Just so, just copy here, 
and what I'll actually show you on my computer what you'll have to type in. You'll have to type in sudo, which is a super user uh, command, sudo apt get install, and then you'll just paste the, the, the tools. So you can just paste them, and then sketch tool, and type in your password. <sighs> I already have them installed. They're all in there with the newest version. So none were upgraded, none da 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 da. So next you're going to need to make your directories. You can do that straight from here. Uh, make there is make directory. Um, and then bin is the bin is the directory you want to make is bin and you're gonna put it in your home folder. So the way that it looks like it's here. You're make you're making this folder right here. And then you're also gonna make an Android system folder which is here. Android and system. So that's what these two commands are. Next you're gonna install the repository. Now this is the old repository. This doesn't work anymore. That's why you're also going to have to go back here. Um, some of the um, the wikis for some of the phones have been updated already. Uh, most haven't. So this one, the emulator, has not been updated. So you'll need to actually go back and flip through here if you want to. And just um, to install the repository, you'll need to maybe downloading the source. Here we go. Um, oh yeah, this is a very important step. The next step you'll have to do is this path equals um, tilde slash bin e uh, colon dollar sign path. You'll want to do that step next or else the following steps will not work when you try to sync the repo. Then the next thing you're going to do is this new website that they have for it. It actually cuts off but it's curl https uh, colon slash slash dl dash ssl dot google dot com slash dl slash google source slash git dash repo slash repo um, greater sign so like that and then the the, the you want to put the directory for your your bin repo there you can actually see it there so tilde slash bin repo. And now what that does is it downloads a file and it puts it into the bin folder. And that's your repo file. It's really quick. This takes no, no time to get. Uh, then chmod a plus x and then the, the repo file. So chmod stands for change mode. And that's this step here. So then you go down. Now you're going to want to go to change directory cd to the android system folder. So in terminal we're going to be going to cd uh, android system and if you can see I hope you'll see like your own little thing and then android system and then the dollar sign. So that means I'm in the directory there. So everything I'm doing now is there. You want to then do this repo init uh, dash u space git colon slash slash github dot com slash cyanogen mod slash android dot git uh, dash b gingerbread. You want to copy and paste this. That's why I always say to just go to the website. The wiki's there. It's pretty easy. Paste, copy, paste it. Um, I don't want to do it because I'm gonna. I, I I've had a couple of failed repo syncs on uh, the MacBook. I don't know if I would, if there's something down in the GitHub for CyanogenMod right now, but I don't want to mess it up. So you're gonna enter that in. It's gonna be another real quick little thing, and then uh, repo sync. Uh, they have dash J16. You could either type in repo syncs or repo sync dash J16. Doesn't really matter. Uh, they'll both work. This is, uh, process is going to take um, a few hours. 
it's a couple of gigs of data, but it's not just downloading a file. It's downloading and placing into certain folders. So when you can actually, when I repo sync, you get all these folders and everything like that. Um, and if you wanted to actually build uh, something custom, you would be changing files and the, and the builds and stuff like that. But let's say we wanted to go to a device. I have a Thunderbolt, so it's actually in here as the Mecca. Here are all the, the current, as of today, the build files. So if I wanted to build for my phone right now and flash it, um, all the updates that have been pushed are up to date right now are here currently. Um, so you, you'll see all the different devices. You're downloading for every device um, when you do the repo sync. Okay, so that's exactly what you'll be downloading. Um, before you build, you want to repo sync. I'll do it now. Yeah. When you're doing it, this fetching objects, that's your total progress. So it's gonna, it shouldn't take me very long since I already have all the info. And there, uh, I can actually tell you why I was failing on the, on the MacBook earlier. Earlier there was 299 projects now there's 300 so there's a new project that was added and that's probably why it was failing earlier so this is actually gonna probably not take very long but I'm gonna have to download another uh, project so I'll get back to you as soon as this is done okay now that that's done uh, it probably took you guys a couple of hours if you're new to this it didn't take me very long only maybe a couple minutes there were 12 files changed, there were 8 insertions and 4 deletions. And you can actually see that here. It's kind of neat. Um, so now the repo is now synced and ready to be built. But before you can build, you'll actually need to ins uh, download ROM Manager. In order to do that, you'll have to change your directory again to Android System vendor cyanogen and the reason why you couldn't do this before is because you need the repo to sync before you actually have this vendor and cyanogen folders um, so now that's there and then you're gonna hit period slash that's a unix thing so you'll have to do that if you're gonna be building well you can't build on windows so you'll have to do that whenever you build um, from uh, uh, ubuntu or Mac. Uh, let's see. Get ROM Manager. And it's a little script and it just downloads ROM Manager. So now you're ready to build, ironically. Um, these are going to be different according to um, the device. So that's why you build one for one device, one for another device. These commands are going to be different. So make sure you pull up the wiki to find out what your, um, your, your uh, commands here to build the environment. Uh, mine, it's since I'm going to do the emulator, it's Cyanogen Generic in, uh, Engineering Build. That's what this Cyanogen underscore generic dash ENG stands for. But the first command would be the build. So the this is just the, the environment setup. You can actually change this if you wanted to. Uh, you change the file sorry you have to get back into the system Android system so I apologize about that so now I'm back into Android system now I can actually build and this is really quick and those are the next you're gonna do lunch cyanogen generic engineering this takes a little bit of time um, doesn't take that long this is not actually building or you can still configuring the build so it's not everything you'll see this little kind of looks like a box with like yes or no kind of on the right hand side you know, but, or true false sorry not yes or no
So I'll get, come back to you when it's done. Okay, so after several tries, I actually found one that works, so I'm going to show you it. Um, the Crespo definitely works, so I'm going to do that build right now. See, this is a much different output than what I had been receiving before, so we're going to use the Crespo. So it's the same command it's the, as the other one. I'm just going to copy this. It. It's dot space build slash env setup dot sh and and brunch and then instead of passion the Crespo is the is the, the Nexus S so we're gonna use that one and uh, we can actually watch it build here and the background music actually is uh, Office Space just FYI. Alright, so I'm going to leave this to build. It's going to take a little bit. It didn't take that long, but it does take a little bit. But that's what your output is supposed to look like. Something that actually does look like it completed. Alright, so I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so it's actually almost done. And uh, you, as you can see, you have most of the files here. One of the files that's missing is actually the final package is zipped, the zip package, which it's creating right now. Finding it. It didn't take very long, actually. It wasn't too bad. I mean, you still get your same, like, system image and everything like that, but this is your, um, what you would be able to flash. You actually probably would be able to flash either one of these, but this is the the one that you would want to put in your SD card and, or sorry, there is no SD card on an Nexus S, but uh, flash this, put it in your storage, and then put it into the recovery and, and run that. So that is how to compile. It's not too bad. It's just can take a little bit of steps to get it to work, and it does take a little bit of time to get it to work. Um, especially the repo sync, the first time you do it, that is painfully long, a couple hours, all right? Just watch a movie, go out, go for a run, do something productive, because until you download the, the repo right here, it takes, you, I mean, it, you're not going to be able to do anything. Um, so yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed my video. I'll try to figure out how to get the the em emulator set up so I can actually show you what it looks like on the computer. Alrighty.